Hey, Chase, what did you find out at the mine? That I'm lousy at fighting. Huh? Rex was there. He grabbed Stinky before I could find him and then knocked me out. Whoa! So what are you gonna do? Get some training at the local dojo to make sure that he can't do that again. Okay, and I'm gonna give Frank another call. I bet he's lost his phone. Barry Smith, 24-hour plumber and kung fu guru, unblocking pipes and chakras since 1987. Huh. It's worth a try. I need to get that open. I wonder if I could use that. Just a tiny little piece of the day. That super build needs a lot of bricks. Why would they keep hat stands outside? Of the day.
does it. Be calm. Close. That torch only just burned long enough for me to get here. And I thought Dunby had bad breath. None of these guys look like a berry to me. Maybe there's a bell I have to ring for service. A gong! That's even better than a bell. I'm here to see Be- Shh! Have a listen to this. Welcome to Learn Kung Fu While You Sleep. Relax. You are now completely relaxed. <laughs> the end. I know Kung Fu. Show me. And plumbing? you off against a few of my students. Ah. Look deep within yourself to find your hidden potential and you will triumph over your enemies. What also helps is throwing them around. Let's see what you can do, Chase. <laughs> oh, that's going to come up nasty tomorrow. Not bad. Let's try up in the odds. Come on. More like it. You made light work of that, Chase. You might not be so lucky this time. Empty your mind as you would a radiator before you place it. Shake it off, son. Get back in there. Oh, 
you're good at arm wrestling. Remember, a journey of 10,000 miles starts with a single uh, phone call. Try throwing them into each other. Bang's got to stop. Go on, throw another. Ouch! Even I felt that. You'll find the guys dressed in brown a bit tougher. If a tree falls in a forest and lands on you, does it hurt? Yes, a lot. It really, really hurts a lot. Just one more round to go, Chase. Oh, the graph. You're ruthless. Ouch. Oh, well. The risks when you join the dog. Oh dear, oh dear. You have done well. Take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello. Hey, Chase, are you busy? Does this have something to do with your favor for Ellie? Yes, funny story. I volunteered to pick up the department's new state-of-the-art police truck for its unveiling at the station this afternoon. And you've been hijacked by some criminals, right? Wow, how did you know? Wait, what number am I thinking of? I'll give you a clue, it's six. The truck, Frank? Oh yeah, well, they drove it around for a while, but we've stopped that. Any idea where you are? Um, when they were driving, I heard a really loud foghorn, so I think we went past the docks. Docks, uh-huh. Then I remember it feeling like we went over a train track. Train track, okay. And when we stopped, I looked out the window and saw Krabby Cove. You. I'll be right there. Where? Why is the world upside down? Are you in there, Frank? Yes! Is that you, Chase? Have you come to rescue me? Shh! Johnny, go fetch the rest of the gang. Tell Mr. Chen we have company. Oh. I think the robbers are still around, so be quiet! Are you having some kind of fight? Are you okay out there? Oh, oh, oh. 
If you drive fast, we can still make the grand unveiling. I'll settle for getting out of here alive. And I thought I was unambitious. I hope we get back in time. I don't want to let Ellie down. One of the gang members mentioned someone called Chan. Any idea who that is, Frank? Ah, uh, probably Chan Chuang. He's pretty new to Lego City, but I heard he runs the biggest chop shop in town. I hope they taste nice. The chop shop is where they dismantle stolen vehicles, Frank. Oh, I guess I should cancel that reservation then. I think this Chan's connected to Rex Fury. only without any of the boring safety. I hope they aren't gonna check in the back of here because a lot of stuff has fallen out of the cupboards. Chasing us. This would be a lot of fun. Woohoo! Looks like they've stopped following us. Good driving. Could you pull over on that corner up ahead, please? Do you mind if I drive it from here? I want to show Ellie that I can be trusted. All right. Enjoy getting your photo in the papers, Frank. Ha! I can't wait all day, Marion. I have to reopen the bridge this afternoon. Where is that truck? As if I'm interested in fame and fortune. <gasps> My public! Ah, here it comes, Mayor Gleason. <laughs> right on time. Here I am with our new truck. Good old Frank Honey delivers again. Coming through. Honey. Honey. Out of the way. Sorry, madam. Hi there, Mayor Gleason. Hey, Chief. Dunby. Honey. Waffles. What are we doing? Well, what did you expect to happen with Frank driving it? This is your fault, Marion. Whoa. Chase, give me some good news. Have you found Rex Fury? Well... How could you find him? I mean, the Chief told you to stay off his case. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> it isn't, Chase. No? That's right. I was just about to, to send him undercover in, uh, uh, Cheng Chuang's gang? I think he's linked to Rex. Uh, yes! <laughs> hmm. Well, that was broken. I got here. Frank, Ellie, you hiding down here? You betcha. I'm staying as far from Dumby as possible. And I saw a spider. I have no idea how we're gonna get out of this mess. Oh, it's easy. 
I expect my parents will pay for it. Like usual. Huh? You know they're really rich, right? They own that hotel in Paradise Sands. Oh! It all makes sense now. Anyway, Chase is going undercover. He'll need new clothes. Well, congratulations, Chase. Hey, that's quite the transformation. I barely recognize you. Yeah. Who's that strange man in the garage? Right. I'm off to figure out how to get into Chan's gang. I hope they've reopened the bridge to the main island. Good luck with that, Chase. That was Chase? Okay, let's find a way to get into your gang, Mr. Chan. 